your Bible is Abaka 2. My God, Jesus. Come on, mother of God. I want you to read for me. Abaka 2. Somebody shout glory to God. My. I don't know about you, but I, I'm an expectation for an expectation miracle. I'm an anticipation for what God is about to do. Oh my God, I wish I had somebody that is able to believe that God is able. Come on, somebody, why don't you find somebody and declare that God is able? You got to understand, this is no time for you to act like you depressed. This is no time for you to act like you're oh, like the devil got you baby you better get ready for your miracle hey Jesus oh Jesus I feel the Lord already a back or two a back or two uh -huh. that's a back or two right alright a back or two the devil used a liar. Baka 2, what did it say? Okay, read, darling. Baka 2, uh, 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 2 and 3. Say 2 and 3. Baka 2 and 3. And it reads thus. For huh? the vision is yet for an appointed time. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, the vision, vision. is yet for an appointed time. It's yet for an appointed time. You couldn't get your miracle until now. I don't care who prophesied to you, whatever they try to fight, God said it's yet for an appointed time. Oh, read, 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 read. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Look at the neighbor say, neighbor, your labor is about to speak. Your labor is about to speak. Read, read again, read again, we getting go, we getting ready to go. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry. Look at the neighbor say, neighbor, it will not lie after this one. Come on, read, read, read. We got to go. We got to go. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because Listen to the neighbor say, neighbor, neighbor. Though, it tarry, though it tarry, wait for it. Wait for Look it. at the neighbor say, neighbor, wait. That's what God would do with some of you. You were too impatient and God had to make you out of way on your miracle. But now, what's God perform that would the devil try to represent? I try to behave. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Huh? Behold. Now, hold on. Turn your Bible. Joel chapter 2. And then we're going to preach. You better be on your toes. You better get ready. Are you ready? Don't stomp on this drum today. Amen. 2 and 25. Uh huh. Verse 26. Amen. I feel good. Bishop here. We're going to have a tag team today. Amen. I can pass the mic right on. Amen. Somebody shout glory to God. Read that. Read it. And verse 25 reads as thus. And I will restore to you the Stop years. right there. If I was you, I'd start screaming right now. Because God said, get ready to restore to you that but the devil stole from you. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten. Uh-huh. The canker worm, uh -huh. and the caterpillar, uh -huh. and the palmer worm, uh -huh. my great army which I sent among you, uh -huh. and ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of, your, of the Lord your God, that I dealt wondrously with you, uh -huh. and my people shall never be ashamed. You hear that? You been getting ready to be ashamed. Ain't no open shame for you. I'm sorry if the devil told that you about to be open shame. You better tell the devil, get the hell from around me. There is no shame after. Something every time, man, you don't want to preach and you don't want to do nothing. It's like God has put an extra added strain over you. Somebody shout glory to God. That's for some of you right here. Read, 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 read. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Uh -huh. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. 
Uh-huh. And my people shall never be ashamed. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass. Say, afterwards. neighbor is coming to pass. Neighbor is coming to pass. Afterward. Afterward. Uh huh. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Ah, uh, stop right there. Stop right there. I want you to sit right down there, darling. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is good. I believe that there is a shifting coming again in the body of Christ. And I believe that purposely God people has been failing by faith. Simply because the devil has increased his warfare among God's people. And you got to find out that the devil recognized that the season of God's movement of people is getting ready to come forward. Okay, if you don't believe me, check the book of Exodus. Because you will understand that before God's people were delivered, there were intensity of warfare. And what you mean that the slave people began to deal with them very harshly. Simply because they understood, the devil understood, sorry, that God was getting ready to send a Moses in the midst of trouble. And when you find out that when God delivered you out of Egypt, you will always find out that it comes with great pain and travail. And that's why the Bible declares that when signs reveal, it will bring forth its children. I stopped by to tell some of you that you could not get this next level unless you had to catch hell. You had to travail. You had, you had to go through some circumstances. You had to go through some ridicule. You had to go through some conflict. You want to get some hell. You be fired off your job. You be fired from around your house. You be put out. But I stop by to tell you, after a while comes the exodus. What that means is you get raised. Oh my God. To tell that Pharaoh demon, it's time to let me go. I got to go. Oh God, and I found out, glory be to God, that in the season of trouble, God sometimes stopped talking, and simply because you understand, there's a season of preparation, where God said, I had to prepare you, I had to mold you and make you, and the only way I could do it, I had to put you through hell, and some of you had a prophetic word so strong over your life, you knew what God and say, you know where God is carrying you. You know what dimension you're going. You only fool nor ignorant. But what God said, He said, "Darling, there were some people around you that I had to let you go from, simply because some of you were too patient, were too short of patience, and didn't wait on your season." Oh God, I was at a church. You got to understand, sisters and brothers. The only way God could bring a level of power and faith to you is you have to go through some stuff and enter to go somewhere. Oh Jesus, help them, Lord, open their eyes that they will see what God said. And so in this season, I stop by to tell you now that that vision that you was believing God for is about to come to pass. Why don't you high five somebody and say, neighbor, I don't know but you, but I'm getting ready to get my miracle. I'm getting ready to get my blessing. Wrap my supper. I'm getting ready to shut the devil mouth. I'm getting ready to tell the devil, baby, last year, you try to attack me, but not this year. I got an anointing so small, and I stop it until I get what God offered me. Uh, and so you understand uh, that whenever God attacks you, uh, sorry, whenever the devil attacks you, uh, whenever you get in trouble, uh, God promise uh, a season of restoration. Some of you are about to get your anointing restored back to you. Oh, God. 
some of you about to get the second men then. Because you find out whenever there's a runner, the runner stop with a good speed. And then if you were a quarter minor, he got to know how to pace himself. He got to know how to run. But every now and again, the runner blow. Uh, what that means is uh, he get tired uh, some of you right here was tired uh, you was tired of the devil uh, you was tired of the prophetic word uh, you was tired of what people say uh, baby I see a house uh, I see a car uh, I see God is going to give you a house uh, a husband and a wife uh, but you could not see uh, where God was carrying you uh, simply because uh, God said if I show you this thing uh, then you would quite caught up in the vanity. But I gotta carry you true in order to carry you somewhere. Oh God, I was at a church. Somebody shout glory to God. Some of you sitting right under the sound of my voice, you have a big mindset for a big miracle. I was at a church up in here, man. You think it's only me then? It's only me who believe in God for a big place there. Only believe, believe in God for a big house, a big car there. Only me believe in God to shut some haters' mouth. Some of you had a big mindset, but the problem was your faith was so small. Because you was looking at your circumstances, and you was telling God, God, how in the world you say, I about to get a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bar when I ain't got no money. How in the world am I supposed to get this car when I ain't got no money? You say, God, I suppose I have a good mind, but I'm 35 and still ain't got no husband. <laughs> but I stop by to tell you, lean over your neighbor, say, neighbor, you are rare and special. And because you rare and special, God said, I couldn't give you any old thing. I couldn't let you get any old mind, any old house, any old car. But because you're so special, I said, darling, oh, listen, listen, you can't have that mind. Man, listen, that too, that too local for you. And so what God say, I mean to hold back your miracle because I will bless you specially. Lord, I wish I had a church up in here. Ah, oh, God. A back of two says, be it. Is that going to release the mind of God? Be it. Back of two. Be it. Verse three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Here's what God said. Here's what God said. And we're going to fly and keep up here. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Now, some of you have been waiting for this appointed time so long. But God said, and Bishop touched it on Sunday night. He said, atmospheric disturbance. God said, there are some people that are squatting in the land, on your land, and are sitting in your stuff and have your husband next to them. So what God said, he said, I got to cause some disturbance first. I got to bring some chaos first. Because if I don't bring the chaos, you ain't going to get your miracle. And so what that means is, God said, give me time to run some devils from around your stuff. Why don't you high five somebody and say, baby, I'm getting my and the devil mine. Uh, my wife used to do this thing. We used to say this thing. I want you to lean over to somebody and say, Lord, the devil mind. Say, say, say the devil mind. Come on, find somebody else. Why don't you stand to your feet and find somebody? And say, baby, the devil mind. Oh my God. Oh my God, I heard God say, some of you are about to be like the peacock. You know what the peacock does? He's a proud bird. He may tell all the animals get by the waterfront. And then that's what he do. He just show off his stuff. God getting ready to show you off like the peacock. You gonna stand in the midst of your haters and tell your haters, take that devil. You might take now. I might be walking around with no mind. I'm going to be walking around no husband. But the vision.
juice is getting ready to get burned. Somebody open your mouth. I gotta go, but I gotta tell you, you better get ready. God is about to do something stupid over your life. Somebody open your I heard the Lord say, he said, don't the vision tarry. He said, you got to learn how to wait. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, learn how to wait. I need a church. Somebody open your mouth and say, wait. Wait on the Lord. Be of good coming. He shall direct your mouth. I learn how to wait. The song Said, uh, if you wait on Jesus, uh, I, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm waiting on God. Uh, somebody shout glory. Ah, read, 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 read. Woo. Oh my God, read. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, uh -huh. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. You heard God say? People have convinced you through their thoughtless attacks with your mindset. They say, darling, maybe God didn't say that. Because you've been living above your mean and waiting too long. But God said, this ain't just for you now. He said, he ain't moving because of you. But he's moving because some people say you would never get that miracle. All right, y'all ain't ready for that, man. Okay, y'all ain't ready. There are some jokers that God got to really shut their mouth. I'm sorry, but I keep on hearing this in the Holy Ghost. I got an email just now, and he said this. He said, even your family member's mouth, he's about to drop. Simply because they say, you want to know that? Ain't nothing in you. You playing with God, but God say now they can see just who playing with. Play My God, I was at a church. Read, 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 read. Though it tarry, wait for it, uh -huh. because it will surely come. It and will not tarry. You hear that? God said, I'm getting ready to cause some miracle to accelerate. There's a season of acceleration about to hit the body of Christ. And the words I want you to do just this, stand your feet right there. Let me tell you what I want you to do. Anybody know how to drive? If you're under 18, sit down. But if you're over 18, that's fine. Because we don't drive without a license. Come on, somebody. You got to be licensed in the Holy Ghost to drive this one. Somebody shout glory to God right there. What I want you to do now, I want you to do this. I want you to take your foot. And I want you to pray like you're pressing on the gas. Because what you're getting ready to do now, you're getting ready to accelerate to your next destination. Well, come on, give them some miracle moves in here. Come on, break your foot and press the gas. I'm getting ready. Come on, oh, you ain't ready for this yet, man. Take your foot and press on the gas. Jesus. Yes, what he say? Man, I hear the Holy Ghost say something. And I have to be obedient. The Spirit of God just spoke to me. He said, there's a young lady in here that she's going through family attacks right now by the Spirit of God. And, and I'm telling you this. You have just been devastated because the enemy has been giving you plenty of mind balance even concerning this relationship concerning this boyfriend that doesn't do nothing for your baby by the Spirit of the Lord. The Lord God said to tell you, get ready, because he's about to do things, two things for you. One, he's about to give you the job that you desire. Two, and he's about to give you victory. Hallelujah, glory to God, in that place that you believe in God for. Now, if that's you, lift your hands up and wave. If that's you, somebody shout glory to God. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. My God, you better open your mouth and hear Come on, open your mouth in here. Read, 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 read. Oh, Jesus. God is about to bless you, darling. 
The Lord said, you're just fine. And he's going to bless you because of your obedience and your faithfulness. Because you wasn't supposed to come to midday today. But yet the Lord said to tell you, he said, the devil mode is about to be brought this year over your life by the spirit of the Lord. But that's what God said. He said, you got to be constant in staying in church. Because a lot of people believe that when they go and confine themselves in the womb and don't want to come to church, you just cause the devil to bombard you even more. And the Lord said to tell you now, because the call of God is strong over you. And you got to believe it because God is hearing your prayer. Somebody shout glory to God. Read. Oh God, I wish I had a church today. I wish I had a church. Come on, put your hands together and bless the Lord, man. Come on, put your hands together and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, give God a praise in here. Come on, somebody give God a praise in here. Read. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Uh huh. Though it tarry, wait for it. Uh huh. Because it will surely come. Uh huh. It will not tarry. It will surely come, neighbor. God is getting ready to give a surely unto your word. He's going to make sure that. Assuredly, you're going to be blessed this season, whether the devil like it or not. Whether the enemy praying against you, I don't care what root bear, ginger bear, old bear, voodoo, loodoo, whatever word they say, what kind of graveyard sign they speaking over you, what kind of oil they rubbing on, God say your vision is coming now. I ain't talking about later. I'm talking about right now in this hour. God is going to bless him. I got to go. Let me speed it up. God said in Joel chapter 2 verse 25. He said this I will restore to you the years that the palmer worm, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the locust has devoured. You got to understand that God said this is the season that I'm restoring your blessing over your life. Somebody shout glory to God. Come on, somebody shout glory to God. I'm getting ready to bless some of you with a right now miracle. I'm getting ready to pour my spirit over your life. I'm getting ready to take back what the devil showed. I'm getting ready to give you back what was robbed over you. Some of you got your house robbed. You got your finances taken away. You got your stuff taken away. But I hear God said, I'm getting ready to bless you like never yet before. Somebody Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lift your hands up to the heavens. Oh, by shut up. I hear the Lord say. I got to send the man of God on, but I hear the Lord say, some of you right now, you allow the devil to give you mind bothers right now while this service is going on. And I hear the Lord say to tell you, by the time you leave this yard, God said the miracle is going in the front of you. I don't know who believe in God for something right now today, but he said, put your hands up real good if you believe it. If you're looking for God to blow your mind, come on. If you're looking for God to do some stuff, lift your hands up and begin to worship him. I don't know what you would begin to worship. Come on, let go. Let go of the hurts. Let go of the pain. Let go of the frustration. Know that this is your season. Oh, my God. Somebody bank. The bank is getting ready to repossess your house. And you need God to, to do the miracle because your house is in the rest. You need to open your mouth and ask God. God, I need a manna from heaven. I need the glory to fall. Some of you going through some heavy mind battles right now. But I hear God said to tell you, you need to open your mouth and give God a praise in this place. Somebody give God a praise in here. Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout Glory to God. Somebody shout. Glory to God. Come on, open your mouth. All over the building and give God a praise. Come on.